Hello and welcome back to another in another video. Today we are talking about Winter Storm Diaz yet again now taking on the Northern Plains. We are looking at a potential massive blizzard across multiple states as this storm system marches its way further across the continent. So let's start off here with the Weather Channel page. And at a glance here, Winter Storm Diaz will spread towards the Plains, Midwest, and Northeast this week. Blizzard warnings are in effect for multiple states in the Plains. Snow is possible in the interior Northeast late this week. A major winter storm will move out of the West and become a Plains blizzard over the next couple of days, then could dump significant snow in parts of the interior Northeast. We'll talk about that another time. So... Right now, we have this storm still marching through the mountain region, and now it is going to start to enter into the plains. So, we have a few images flashing on screen now about the timing of this storm. Uh, this is all in about three-hour intervals. So, as this storm makes its way into the plains, you can see that the storm is moving fairly slowly, and it will be continuing to dump heavy snowfall over the same areas. So, the Weather Channel has this snow forecast through Thursday. You can see that portions of Nebraska, South Dakota, Minnesota, getting at least 18 inches in that pink. And in those purples, that is at least 5 inches of snow, and that is a wide swath of area under that 5 plus inches of snowfall. So let's take a look here at our projected wind speeds and gusts. You can see here that the big winners are going to be on the west side of the storm. You can see Rapid City at 30 to 35 mile an hour sustained winds and 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts. Cheyenne, Wyoming at 25 to 30 sustained and 40 to 50 gusts. And North Platte at 20 to 25 miles an hour sustained and 35 to 40 mile an hour gusts. We also have some areas on the eastern side of the storm that are going to be seeing some pretty good gusts. Minneapolis, up to 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. So let's move on here to our NWS hazards. So we have our warnings here, starting off with blizzard warnings in Colorado, Nebraska, South Dakota, Montana, Wyoming. Winter storm warnings. I'm going to cut this off right here uh, because this is kind of still about to end. So, Wyoming, Colorado, Montana, both Dakotas, and Nebraska. Our winter weather advisories for Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, as well as Iowa, and both Dakotas. And finally, our winter storm watches in Colorado, Nebraska, both Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin. So, let's take a look here at our current uh, radar picture, which is right around here. Now, our timing here, we can start to see some more uh, moisture getting pulled up here around midnight Tuesday morning, and then we start to move towards uh, midday here. This is about 10 a.m. Eastern time, so 9 a.m. Central. You can see that our low pressure at 989 millibars, which is very, very strong, especially just out of the Rockies. Start to see some heavier snowfall in Nebraska, Colorado, portions of Wyoming, and the Dakotas. Then we move along here. This is right around 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. And you can see we have a full-blown blizzard at this point. Heavy snowfall in both Dakotas, Minnesota, uh, with lighter snowfall in Nebraska, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana. We also have some ice there. We have some freezing rain in portions of Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, then a little bit of sleet in between. Then we move on to about 1 a.m. Eastern Midnight Central Time on Wednesday. And you can see that the heavier snowfall starting to move up into North Dakota, Minnesota, with some moderate snowfall in South Dakota and portions of Nebraska, and lighter snowfall in the rest of Nebraska, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana. Then we move towards 10 a.m. Wednesday. You can see here that this low pressure is pretty stagnant 
uh, staying about in the same place, but the actual heavy snowfall now moving towards Wisconsin, portions of northern Minnesota by Duluth, and we have our lighter snowfall back by the low pressure system in the Dakotas, Montana, Wyoming, Nebraska. We have some ice in portions of Michigan and Wisconsin, and we have rain on the southern side. We're going to talk about the severe threat in another video, so stay tuned here for that. Then as we move towards Thursday, we start to see things start to kind of wind down across the region, but it will take a while for this kind of to clear out. A lot of light snow Thursday and Friday while the main event shifts to the northeast. I'll have another video on that later this week as we get closer to that event. So here is our projected wind speeds, and we're just looking for very strong wind speeds, about 30 knots we're looking for. Uh, 25, 30 knots is in general the threshold for blizzard warnings and blizzard conditions. So you can see that we have, in general, uh, some very clear-cut blizzard conditions in portions of Colorado, Wyoming, western Nebraska, up in that 25-knot range, uh, even some areas getting closer to 30. And you can see that those conditions start to wear down pretty quickly, uh, moving into Thursday, but still kind of persists. So I would not be surprised if there's a semblance of ground blizzard conditions, which is when it's not snowing, but the snow is still blowing around enough to lower visibilities in portions of uh, Nebraska, South Dakota, Wyoming, areas like that. Now, on the eastern side of the storm, there's also some very strong winds. Uh, not as strong as the back end, but some areas could be getting up to that 25 to 30 mile an hour threshold as well. Here is our total precipitation totals. You can see that most of the rain in the south here is that's because of the severe threat. We'll get to that at another time. But you can see portions of South Dakota, North Dakota, getting over two inches of rainfall, and that equates to pretty much at least a foot of snow, if not more in some spots. Some areas getting closer to three feet, according to this total positive snow depth change. But if we change this to a 10 to one snow to liquid ratio, you can see that's starting to come up here, that swath of at least a foot of snow from North Dakota near Fargo down to Western Nebraska. So you can see here right in the middle of South Dakota, you can see some areas potentially getting two feet of snowfall. And if we go to a uh, Kushera ratio, which usually overshoots by a lot, uh, we can see up to three feet. But I would more so kind of pick the balance point here, which is that swath of at least a foot of snow in portions of North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, even up into Duluth near uh, northern Wisconsin, as well as Minnesota. Some areas of the mountains getting some more snowfall over a foot there in those maroon areas as well. Last but not least, let's take a look here at our 72-hour precipitation uh, percentiles. So this is the 50th percentile, which is about average. And you can see here that in this area of, you know, Pierre, uh, South Dakota, I guess I call it Pierre, Pierre, South Dakota, uh, areas around just to the west of there, uh, just southwest of Bismarck, North Dakota, they're in that 12 inch range, this bright blue and all this pink and maroon that is above a foot. And even in that maroon, that is over two feet of snowfall in this area of the Black Hills right by Rapid City. So as we zoom out here, let's just go over everything in general. If you're in these greens here, that is less than a half a foot. That lightest green area, which we can see up near, let's actually use areas of Iowa here. Um, Mason City, Iowa here, uh, near La Crosse, Wisconsin. That is one to two inches. Two to four inches is this medium green color so uh, we're talking let's zoom in here uh, Minneapolis st. Paul in that two to four inch area uh, then we move into this dark green which is where we have actually not a lot of major cities here 
uh, Greeley, as well as Cheyenne. Uh, that is four to six inches. And then we move into the big time amounts. This dark blue here, which includes Fargo, North Dakota, uh, as well as, I believe, up toward Marquette, Michigan. That is six to eight inches of snowfall. Then we have this next shade of blue here, uh, which includes uh, Minot, North Dakota, as well as, let's see, I think that should be near, uh, no, Casper's not in there. So, kind of like Minot, North Dakota, that area, that is 8 to 10 inches. Then our next shade here, uh, which is where Bismarck technically lies, is that 10 to 12 inch range. Here, South Dakota, that is in that that 12 to 15 inch range. Then in these kind of light pinks, that's 15 to 18. This darker pink, that's 18 to 21. This kind of purple color, that is 21 to 24. And this maroon is 24 to 27 inches. Now this is just the 50th percentile here. If we go up to the 95th percentile, you can see that a lot of these areas move into the reds, right? That is above 27 inches of snowfall. Some areas even getting close to three feet. So that's the highest end. That is the worst case scenario for this storm system. You could see some areas getting three feet of snow. And that is mostly due to the fact that the snow is going to linger. In the next 24 hours at that 95th percentile, you can see that you know some areas may be closing in on that 18 to 21 inch amount but as you get towards that 48 hours you can see that that slight increase right that slight increase here towards that final and after 72 hours you can see that 95th percentile really exploding off the charts but that's the worst case scenario here is the best case scenario for uh, you snow haters out there. Personally, I'm a snow lover, but if you don't like snow, that's fine. But fifth percentile, you can see the worst areas at that 12 to 15 inch mark. So that shows you the uncertainty, right? That's kind of your overall range. Like there is a 100 or I guess 90% chance that you get snow within that range. So let's just take uh, pure South Dakota, you have a 90% chance of getting between four and six inches of snow and getting between, I guess that would technically be 21 and 24 inches of snow. But in terms of what I look at, I'm looking at this 50th percentile here. That is the average. That is what you're most likely going to see. And the Weather Prediction Center does a great job putting these percentiles out there. So here is your map. That is what I'm looking at, but that is all the information that I have for this storm. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.